guys, it's me again. Um, so, it's my day off and I want to make a whole bunch of stuff. So, today I make juice. Um, and now I'm going to make some uh, guacamole, which I eat pretty much every week. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and start off. So, here's an avocado. It's a pretty good one. The way I can tell it's ready is that when I press down, it's kind of like soft play-doh. You can, you know, if you press really hard, you can squish it. But if you just press lightly, you can feel that it gives a little bit. So there's a good technique um, that my dad showed uh, show, showed me um, how to, you know, cut up an avocado. So you go around the pit. And it looks like that. So the best way to get the pit out is to chop it with the knife. And um, let me toss that out real quick. And then, the best way to cut up an avocado um, is to do this. You just slice it in like a little grid pattern. And, the, and you'll see why it's a good idea to do this in a little bit, if you don't know already. Um, but then I go the other way, and I end up with little square pieces, rectangular pieces actually. Um, and then when I scoop it out, it comes out real easily. And it's already kind of chopped up, so I don't have to do all this work to mush it around. Um, so let me just go ahead and keep doing that to the rest of my avocados. I haven't figured out how to speed things up yet. I'm sure it's really easy, but haven't, so you're just going to have to watch me do this from start to finish. Uh, so let me go ahead and get the other avocado going. Oops, kind of went too fast. Um, so these avocados are freaking ripe and delicious. Um, so I think my bowl is going to be kind of small. Because I have to, I like to put a whole onion in there. Um, because I love onions and another thing that I really try to do um, is to eat raw food. Um, there's a lot of benefits into eating raw food. When you kill, I'm sorry, when you cook food, you kill something called enzymes that are found um, in raw unprocessed food. So, um, you know, cavemen and such didn't have a lot of cooking abilities back in the day. Uh, so they ate a lot of raw food. Um, which is really good for you. So like I said, um, when you don't cook food and you eat it raw, you retain the enzymes which are lost when you cook food at I think 116 or 108 degrees, anything over that, um, you lose the enzymes. And yeah, my bowl is too small, so let me get another one real quick and pour this out. Um, so yeah, I guess you can look up enzymes and you can look up raw food. There's some people called raw foodists that only eat raw food. Um, I love to incorporate raw food into my diet, but I don't, you know, exclusively eat raw food. Um, but I love that I can get some raw food going in here. And uh, guacamole is completely raw. I don't cook anything in here. Um, pop out. So let me get this last guy going. Um, so what I like to do when I buy my avocados, if I know I'm not going to eat them right away, I like to get the hard ones. Um, I don't really pay attention to the color. As long as it's hard and you know it's not soft anywhere, then I'll buy it. And then um, I usually eat a lot of hummus. So I usually have hummus around. And whenever I run out of hummus, oops, um, I will um, eat some guacamole. And this avocado is probably like four days old, three days old. So it's very ready to be eaten. Let me throw these away. And then the limes. Um, another thing when I buy limes, I always make sure that they're soft. Um, I don't get the really hard ones because when they're really hard, they're not very juicy. Um, but if you do have a hard one, even a soft one, you can roll it around to get all the little vessels or, or the little, whatever you call them, burst. 
um, and ready to squeeze. And I don't squeeze these by hand. I have a t handy dandy little lime squeezer that most Mexican families have. Um, so I like my um, guacamole to be very high in lime juice. Um, so I need a knife. Um, I just put this guy in here and then I squeeze it. Very easy, right? Um, I'm going to take this sucker to Japan with me because I'm going to definitely try to make guacamole while I'm out there. Um, avocados are expensive here, so I'm assuming they're expensive over there. I don't really care. Um, so I just add all the lime juice. And that's two limes for three avocados. <clears throat> I think my voice just cracked. So let me get this out of the way. And then I have a, ch a chili pepper here. It's called a chile serrano, and I like to use this one, um, I don't know, I think my mom used it, so that's why I like using it, but jalapenos are also good. Um, so what I do um, is I just slice it in half, and then depending on how spicy you want it, um, if you don't want it too spicy, then you can just um, get rid of the, the seeds inside. I'm going to do this over here in the trash. So it's Excuse me for abandoning you for a second. Um, I do like it spicy, but not crazy spicy. Um, so I'll leave the seeds in one of them, and then I'll take it out from the other one. And then I just chop it up again in half, and then again, and then again on the other side. So I have four matchsticks. And then I'll do that with this one as well that has the seeds, which hold pretty much all the spiciness so do not touch your eyes wash your hands real good um, and once I have about eight um, little matchsticks then I just chop it up really into small pieces because I don't want to be munching on a huge piece and then you know die so, there are all my little pieces of my serrano chili pepper. Let me put that in there. Half seeds, half not. And then, let me wash my hands real quick so I don't die. Now, let me cut up the onion, and I like my onion to be pretty chunky monkey, um, and I like my guacamole to be kind of chunky as well, so these days I don't really mix it and mash it all, way, all the way. Oops, I think I found a, an avocado thingy stem part. Hmm. Alright, so let me just mix this a little bit to get things simmering. Um, and the lime juice and then the onion so the onion um, I usually take off the outer peel with my hands um, I should have done this over the trash can because I just made a mess um, but let me just clean this up sorry I'm a kind of a neat freak um, and then it's always really hard for me to get the rest of the peel off so what I kind of do is I chop off one side and I hold it and I try to peel off um, some of the skin so that what that does is it leaves a little bit for me to easily peel off with my fingers and then I do that with the other side and it doesn't always work but it worked this time so hallelujah um, and then what I do is um, I end up with an opening here that I can just go around the whole onion um, and it's so easy. So then I can just peel off the outer layer, which we don't eat. Maybe you do. Um, and then I chop this sucker up. So I like to do some rough chopping here. Um, and then what I do, um, I do like it chunky. So then I chop it up like this. 
I'm not a professional or anything like that, but I do it all the time. So this just happens to be what I do, and then I end up with some ah, <laughs> chopped pieces of onion. And then let me do the rest. I usually don't use this knife. I have a bigger one, but it's in the dishwasher, and I kind of got lazy, and my eyes are watering. So that's probably why I almost chopped off my finger. Whew. Oh my god, I got in my nose. Um, so I forgot to mention that one trick to not um, dying when you're chopping onions is to not breathe in. But since I'm speaking, I kind of messed that up. Um, so then I just pour all the onion in here. <clears throat> Thank God you can't see my face because I'm making some crazy facial expressions. Let me rinse my hands off in this damn knife. Oh my God. <clears throat> Whoa. So then the final step is just to mix it up a little bit more. And since I have so much goodness in here, I might put some more lemon juice. Um, so I like to use Himalayan salt, it's pink and it's pretty, it's my favorite color. If you guys didn't watch my first video called Who is the Mexican Geisha? And I don't know, I'm going to say that's enough. Um, and then I like to add a little bit of pepper, um, crushed pepper. Um, my mom used to make this salsa that was pure, like those serrano chili peppers, and pure lime juice, salt, and then pepper, and it tasted so freaking good, um, so I kind of like that taste, so I'm going to put a little bit of crushed pepper in here, um, these peppercorns are mixed colors, so that's probably good, um, and then I mix it around again, Make sure all the salt and the pepper and the onions and the chili pepper get mixed in real good. Um, my eyes are still watering. And so is my nose. Um, so I think that's about good. I think it's a little dry feeling. I would like to put some more lime, so let me give it a taste. I actually use the bomb.com. It already tastes really good. So I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm the master. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so that's it. Here's my guacamole. And um, this will probably last me like, I don't know, two or three days. Um, unless my brother gets to it. He has a tendency of finding things in the fridge and then eating it all and then leaving me with like this much. And I'm like, what the hell? So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I hope your mouth is watering, and I hope you want to go make some guacamole right now. Um, if there are avocados available in your grocery store, then go buy some. All you need is onion. You don't need the chili pepper. That's just because I'm Mexican, and I love it. Um, some salt, some pepper. Definitely need lime juice. Um, and also, I usually put cilantro in here, but I don't have any right now. Um, it's just kind of a pain in the ass to chop it up and wash it. Uh, not really, but it's an extra step that I don't like. So, um, I do like how it adds an awesome flavor, but whatever. So, anyway, go make yourself some guacamole, and thanks for watching. Bye!